Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about clonazepam. <clears throat> this is a benzodiazepine, which you may recognize this, and a benzodiazepine basically is a controlled substance that's often given th for things like anxiety, but it's also given for things like seizures when an individual is having seizures. And so the other family members that you'll see are lorazepam and alprazolam. So let's talk about some things about clonazepam. Number one, it's extremely important to be cautious in individuals older than 65 years old or, and or I should say, anybody who is on any kind of sedating medication or already has any kind of cognitive impairment and because they are increased risk for the side effects of clonazepam. Number two, the nice thing though is about clonazepam is that it is a longer acting um, benzodiazepine in comparison to the others and so sometimes it is a better choice if you have to pick a benzodiazepine it is a better choice in comparison to the others because it is long longer acting and less likely to have some of those side effects number three it can decrease platelets and also wbcs now the thing about this even though we're not doing regular monitoring while a patient is, as far as labs, while a patient's on clonazepam. It is something that if you are a nurse in the hospital and this patient just started this medication and you just happen to be doing labs and all of a sudden you see a dip in these two labs here, it is something to make note of and maybe even mention it to the um, provider for the day. The other thing is it can increase LFTs. That's the case with most benzodiazepines, but just be aware of that. Number four, this can increase risk for suicidal thoughts and depression. So if you're giving to a patient who already has these things, just be aware, especially in the outpatient setting, when the patient's not being monitoring, monitored frequently, as you would in the as frequently as you would in the hospital, it's important to even let the patient know about this. This is extremely important to let them understand that this may increase the risk for that. And then finally, kind of related back up to number one, um, it can cause over sedation. And so that can increase the risk for falls. And you may see other things like, you know, uh, individuals even, you know, falling asleep when they're driving. So obviously they should not be taking this when they're getting ready to do anything that requires focus. Well, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Uh, and also hit the like button if you like the Fast Five Facts, and I will do more of these. And also comment below if you have a specific medication that you would like Fast Five Facts done on.